Hello, welcome back to the Playful Preschooler. My name is Andrea Walner. I'm a preschool teacher over at Olympic Hills Elementary in the Seattle Preschool Program. Uh, I'm here today to uh, help preschoolers learn how to stay busy and learning while we're all at home uh, staying uh, safe. So today I'm gonna show you how to use recycled materials and things that you have at your home uh, to, to create new things. Uh, and in teacher talk, we call that STEM. S is for science, T is for technology, E is for engineering, and M is for mathematics. And so uh, we're gonna use some things that I found at my house to be engineers and mathematicians and little smarty pants to uh, create some new things. So uh, let me tell you um, our schedule today. Here we go. And I have a lovely assistant that will help take these off. Hang on, lovely assistant. I have to get that so the kids can see. Okay, now in my class, when we're gonna take a message off, I make a fun little song that goes like this. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. So the first thing we're gonna do together is we're gonna read a story. And we're gonna read a story today called It's Not a Box. Or, and uh, we're gonna learn about doing some different things with boxes and found materials. That's what we'll do first. Okay, message two. Da, da, da. Da 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 Second, I'm going to show you some materials that I gathered at my home. Sometimes I call it a toolbox. Sometimes I call it a maker station. But just different things that you might find at your home to uh, help you create doing some fun things today. Okay, and then last, today we will... Da da da, da 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 da. Last, we'll make things together. All right, kids. Well, that's our schedule today. So first, I said we were gonna read a story. So here we go. For our story. Uh, our story today is called Not a Box by Antoinette Portis. Not a box. The little bunny. Why are you sitting in a box? It's not a box. What is it? Here's his box. He's pretending he's made it into a race car. What are you doing on top of that box? Hmm. It's not a box, says Rabbit Peak. Here's the box. Looks like he made it into a mountain. Why are you squirting a box? I said, it's not a box. Hmm. You know, there's lots of kids that like to play firefighters in my preschool classroom. They put on pretend hats and get pretend squirters. And the box turned into a, looks like a building that needs saving. It's on fire. Now you're wearing a box. This is not a box. Huh. You see his little bunny ears there. And there's his box. What do you think he's turned it into today? You see arms and wheels. It says Rabot. XL3. Huh. Yeah, I think he's a robot too. Are 
Are you still standing around in that box? It's not, not, not a box. My goodness, he's turning this box into all kinds of things. A hot air balloon. Maybe he's on the lookout on a pirate ship. Or it holds him while he rides an elephant or goes for a boat ride. Well, what is it then? Hmm, what do you think his box could be? Or her box? It's my not a box. And now it turned in. It looks like maybe a rocket ship. Bye, bunny. Hmm. And the box says this side up. I've seen that on some boxes before. So we don't have the bunny upside down. Well, thanks for reading that story with me. Well, I liked that story today, uh, seeing how that little bunny used his boxes in different ways. At my house, I've been collecting boxes over here, and we've been having lots of fun with them. I've also been collecting some other things so that I can have a maker station down here in my basement. Let me show you a few things that I've collected over the last couple of weeks. Let's see. So I have different collections here of stuff so that your preschooler can have fun and stay busy uh, with all kinds of things that you'll find around your house. So here on one of my trays, I call this the sticky station. So this is a collection of a whole bunch of different things that kids can use to stick things together. Uh, sometimes kids like to use paper clips, or not paper clips, these are clothespins, or yarn or string, of course glue. Well, tape isn't just tape, tape can be so many things. We also have scissors and rubber bands on our tray here. I don't recommend Play-Doh uh, just for anything, but Play-Doh sure is a fun way to stick straws together or toothpicks, and kids can roll them into balls and use Play-Doh to stick things together too. Just make sure that they're not in a room with a bunch of carpet because, whew, that's hard to get out of the carpet. Some other things I've been collecting. I know, toilet paper rolls. These can, this isn't just a toilet paper roll. This is going to be the star of our show here in just a little bit. I also have a whole collection of just different sticks. We've saved our egg cartons. Over here on my station, I have markers and writing tools all gathered together so that kids can just grab and go and have lots of fun with these. I have paper straws and the the last little bit of the, the plastic straws that we have here in Seattle with the little bendies. I've also been collecting other kinds of boxes, like uh, my juice box here or my Kleenex box. I have some other things that I just had those laying around, some pom-poms, some little plastic eggs. Those are fun to put things in or put things on. Uh, aluminum foil. Oh my goodness, if you can spare a roll of aluminum foil, kids can make those into balls. They actually sharpen your scissors when you cut aluminum foil and it can wrap around things and make all different kinds of uh, sticky situations kind of fun. And then another thing that's just great for kids to use are paper cups or plastic cups of different sizes. I have little plastic cups and I have big plastic cups. And I'm gonna show you some fun ways that we can uh, create some things for your kids at home using some of these materials. So uh, stay tuned and I'm gonna show you some of the things I've made. Hang on. So let me show you some things that I did with cups. Cups don't have to be cups, just like in our book. This is not a cup. This is accounting collection. 
I pasted some numbers on these cups here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What would I put on this last cup? Ten. I forgot my tape, but there. So that's one thing you can do with some cups. It's lots of fun for kids to stack them this way. They can stack them different ways. And then we can go backwards. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I also made, with my little cups, I used some sticks here. And I tried to balance some of my little different animals on there. I thought that was kind of fun. I could make it tall. I could add up. I could put some boxes behind here. I could use my tape and tape it together to give it some more stability. Now back here, if you can see my little cups, I added some stability so that I could stack my cups different ways. I could flip them upside down and right side up. And I have sticks underneath here. That's kind of fun. And then you know what's really fun is to be the big bad wolf. Wanna see? I'm gonna huff and puff and blow my cups down. Hmm. And then for this cup, look at, we cut the bottom out of this. And I have a ping pong ball. And I thought, hey, we could turn it into a little basketball hoop here. One score for mom. I could keep track of score. I could just have fun. So that's what I did with some plastic cups at my house. Let's find out what I did with paper towel or paper tubes from toilet paper and from paper towels. So another versatile thing, an open-ended material, is toilet paper tubes. Now I know sometimes right now it's been kind of hard to find toilet paper tubes, but maybe you were lucky enough to save a few of these. And so I took these paper towel tubes and these toilet paper tubes and I made them not a tube. What I did here is I used some of my tape and I taped them on my wall here and I thought it might make kind of a fun maze. It's a different way to uh, think about your space using the wall space. And if you use painter's tape or masking tape, it doesn't really take your paint off. Now I have different pom-poms at my house because I'm a teacher. Um, but if you don't have any small balls, I made this ball out of, can you guess? It's shiny. It was in a flat piece of paper or flat sheet, it was aluminum foil. And what I did is I rolled it up and crunched it up. Now let's see if you can see my whole finished product here, hang on. And I can put my tube, and let's see it go really fast. Wah! And I had it drop right into an egg carton. This is a plastic egg carton. I could guess with my kids, which one do you think it's gonna land in? I could put a letter or a number inside each of the different sections in my egg cartons here. And maybe kids could think of a, a letter or name that starts something that starts with that letter. Or if it landed in a five, they could do five jumping jacks, get them active too. And some other things I did with my toilet paper tubes as I made a little person here, and I snipped just the little edges here on my tube, and I used a hole punch, and I put some holes in there and put some straws in there, and maybe just for some fun, you could give her a haircut. Oh, because you can't go see the hairdresser right now. Oh, I think she looks a little bit better, don't you? Hmm. Another thing I made with my toilet paper tubes is just some different building blocks. I took those, I cut some of my paper towel and my toilet paper tubes and I used a hole punch and I punched holes all over and then I cut straws. It's fun for kids to cut straws 
and then I can connect them together and make something very creative. And last thing I'll show you is I just took two paper towel tubes, and I taped them together, and I added some string so it can go over my neck, and then I can go looking around the neighborhood, or I could spy my cat that's meowing all around here. Yeah, there she is, that's Millie. And then I could make some binoculars, and that might be a fun way to go on a shape hunt. You can tell kids to walk around the house and go find some circles, or go find some triangles, or go find something that's red and come back with it. You can time them to see how fast they can go. That's a great parent trick to do, and that's lots of fun to do with your kids. So that's what I did with some of my toilet paper and paper towel tubes. That's hopefully something really fun you can do with your kids. And I'm gonna show you two more things. Here we go, hang on. Okay, one more thing I wanted to show you is uh, using tape. Tape is really fun for kids to use, especially when you get masking tape or painter's tape uh, because it doesn't stick on your surfaces for too long. And so uh, what I did is I took some tape and I made like a little racetrack here. Um, I am intending, my plan is to either use a race car through my racetrack, or I might use a straw and have a, a fun race with little pom-poms and see if we can blow them through the track here. So I taped down pieces of tape here. And I was remembering when my kids were little and we would go bowling or when we would play goofy golf, there would be little bumpers along the side. So I lined some bumpers because when we were blowing this through, it kept falling off and it got a little frustrating. So we thought we'd make it a little easier by putting bumpers there. And then we decorated it. I just had some little chicks around and a little bunny, little finger monsters. And then I used some of my paper towel tubes and I made uh, little places for the kids to to blow their pom-poms to go under and some of them have numbers on it and I was thinking hey maybe they could do three hops when they come when their pom-pom goes over here or maybe when their pom-pom or car goes underneath the little B they could tell me something that starts with B I don't know just might be kind of fun but here's my little this is how I tried it and I used a straw and I went And maybe you could time your kids and see how fast they could go through. But watch out for the teeth. It might get you. Okay, last thing. Hang on. All right, kids. So for our last thing that I thought we could do with some uh, cups, the plastic cups and the paper cups, was to go bowling. And uh, at my house, we like to go bowling big. And so uh, we built some towers here with our cups that were a little bit bigger. And we thought, hey, why not go bowling? So let's see, can I make a strike with a ping pong ball? Let's find out. Oh man, that ball wasn't big enough. So you know what we have at my house, kids? We've got a big ball. Should we knock it down? Okay, do you think this will knock it down? Get ready, get set. <laughs> ah! But it's all in the fun of being a playful preschooler. Well, thanks for joining me today. I hope you had some fun uh, trying out some new things with different materials at your house. Get creative, find a space where you can keep things for your kids like tape and scissors so that they can have lots of fun and collect your boxes and your tubes and anything that you uh, find that, hey, maybe you could have some fun with your preschooler. So have a great week and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.